Test. Welcome to the Charley show. We will have class 200 entering the ring. First class is a female calf born after January 1st, 2019. First calf in the ring is entry number 113, High Bluff Cabana, 61G. High Bluff Cabana 61G, it's a High Bluff Casanova 13C, and High Bluff Triumph 113B. Entry number, number 481. Oh, it's a scratch. 481 is a scratch. Entry exhibitor number 113, High Bluff Buster 35G. A high bluff Zora 1Z and a high bluff Buster 33C cow. Entry number 636, JMB Gracie. KRF What a Boy 10F and JMB Miss Dateline. Exhibitors JMB and the Fun Bus Syndicate. Entry number 169, HVA Glitter 960G, an entry of HDA Charlet. It's an HDA, or H, HDA Braveheart 482A and HTA Glitter 510C.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first class in our Charlet female show here, Heifer Calves. We've got four, four strong contenders in this class. Uh, led the class off with what I thought was the most complete female. She's got the most amount of base to her substance. Nice barrel to this female. Beautiful topped heifer, square, arst, or square pin, sorry. Um, I just thought she, she won the class hands down. Maybe not cooperating. It's always tough. Maybe first in the ring with them. They don't want to cooperate as good as what they could. Uh, but overall, I think she's a, you know, a real broody type of female through that front end. And like I said, the overall rib and balance of this female, I just really admire. The heifer in second, I thought, was a heifer that went really close knit to the first place female, made relatively the same. Maybe not as much heifer there as overall substance. But when you analyze her from the side and profile, she profiles pretty much the same as the heifer above her today, just gives up a little bit overall mass compared to that top female. The heifer in third, I was thinking about using her in second, but I thought, you know, just a little more refined to that head and skull, that skull and that neck throat area compared to the top two females in class. But overall, it's still a really good top, good barreled type of a female. And the heifer rounding out our class, I really like the skull to this female. I like the throat in the heifer. Maybe just not the lower third or the overall depth compared to the top three heifers, but I thought that was a really nice uh, start to your Charlotte female show. So in the first split of Charlotte heifers, entry number 300, High Bluff Gabbana was in first place, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm. Entry 302 was third, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm. Entry 303 was second, JMB Fun Bus Syndicate. Entry 304 was fourth, an HDA Charlet. The second split of Charlet heifers. Entry number 305, G Brothers Georgia RGCG 18G. An SVY Fortress 703 out of a G Brothers Wessie 132W. Entry 306, HC Lacey 924W, Hunter Charlet. CML copyright 714E out of HC Lacey 667D. 307, lot three, or entry 307, Hidden Lake Maimu 1G from Hidden Lake Stock Farm out of ProShar Winchester 6D and Stepler CCYA 2018 14E. Entry 309, HTA Delight 910G from HTA Charlet out of HTA Asteroid 603D and HTA Delight 744E. Entry 310, HC Rain 904G from Hunter Charlet out of JWX Downtown 7C and CSS Lady Rain 32R. So the judge for today's Charlet show, Murray Andrews. Murray Andrews and his family own and operate Triple A Herefords southwest of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. The ranch consists of 125 purebred horned Hereford cattle and 150 commercial cattle. They host an annual bull sale the second Saturday in March. They have exhibited cattle across Canada and the United States. 
This year will be 25 years exhibiting at Canadian Western Agribition. They have raised many national champion females and bulls, including an RBC Supreme Champion Bull at Canadian Western Agribition. Murray would, like to, Murray would like to thank the Manitoba Livestock Expo Committee for asking him to judge today. He looks forward to evaluating a great set of cattle. Ladies and gentlemen, this second split a half for calves is a little more to work with here, a little more depth in, in this class. I guess overall, this first place female, uh, I really like this female a lot. Uh, she hits me pretty hard. You know, you look at the rib, the amount of base and the amount of capacity that she has and the overall natural thickness that she carries down through that rump and over that top. I think a female that just wins this very handily, you know, she's got that beautiful broody skull up through that front end and that uh, head neck attachment into that shoulder nice laid in shoulder for as much power as this female has she's still got a a nice front end you know she's going to make a tremendous cow i believe this second place female is one i thought that follows her very close she's uh, put together exactly the same in my mind you know she's got some substance to her there's just not as much female here as what there is in that first place heifer Maybe a little time, a little management. These heifers change so much, you know, four to six weeks is a big thing for them at this stage of their life. But I thought a very, very nice type of a female. The heifer in third, 
I really thought this heifer I was going to use her a little higher today, but just maybe a little too refined for me through that throat, through that skull today. And then that passes on back into the amount of top and substance. But overall, I think a female with more time, this is a female that's going to change probably the most out of this class of heifers is this third place heifer. The heifer in fourth, lots of heifer here, little plainer package. You get up through that throat, through that neck area. Just a little plainer, but I like the power she has. She's got some muscle. She can get out and move very nicely as well. Just a little plainer type heifer through that front end. And the heifer I have rounding out our class is a heifer that just gives up that lower base in the third. Very long spine, hard muscle type of a female. Just like to soften her up and then that'll throw into that base and that rib a little more for her. But that was a nice set of heifers. In the second split of Charlotte Heifer Calves, first was entry 310, HC Lady Rain 904G, entry by uh, Hunter Charlotte. Second, HC Lacey 924W, another entry of Hunter Charlotte. Third, entry number 305, Jillian Brothers Georgia RG CG 18G, Jillian Brothers Charlotte. Fourth, Hidden Lake My Moo 1G. Entry number 307 by Hidden Lake Stock Farm. And fifth, entry 309, HTA Delight 910G by HTA Charlay. We'll now have the champion heifer calves. The junior heifer calf champion is entry number 300. High Bluff Cabana 61G by High Bluff Stock Farm. The junior reserve heifer, entry number 303, JMB Gracie 911G by JMB and the Fun Bus Syndicate. The senior heifer calf champion, entry 310, HC Lady Ray 904G by Hunter Charlay. And the reserve senior heifer calf champion, entry 306, HC Lacey 924W by Hunter Charlay. This division of your Charlotte female show, uh, there's four very strong females out here in contention for this uh, division in your calf uh, female class. I think four females that exemplify what I'm looking for here pretty good. Uh, you know, they've got some shape to their muscle, they've got some barrel, they've got some top. You know, they've got some character and broodiness up through that front end. They're going to be able to go out and uh, get to be bred heifers and then come back probably with, half, with calves at side. But I think uh, good representation of your breed. We're low in numbers here, but obviously the quality is still there. So that's the main thing is to keep in that quality because good cattle always sell easy. And uh, I think these four females here exemplify that very true to their breed. So I'm going to go out and pick your uh, champion and reserve in your division. The champion heifer calf is uh, entry 300, High Bluff Gabana 61G by High Bluff Stock Farm. That class is sponsored by Happy Haven Charlay. The reserve champion 
goes to HC Lady Ray 904G Hunter Charlet. And that is uh, sponsored by Total Farm Supply. The next class in the ring is class 205. Yearling heifer. Entry number 311. G Brothers, Alexis, 620F. From Jillian Brothers, Charlay, from Carryville, Saskatchewan. It's a PCC Rome 437B out of a Jillian Brothers, Missy, 180B. Entry 312, White Rose Sweetheart, 803F. Entry of DRD Charlet from Sintaluda, Saskatchewan. It's a TR DSUL 100 proof B24 out of a DSUL Lita Y64. Entry 313, thir three Stepler Miss 98F from Stepler Farms Limited from Mi Miami, Manitoba. It's an HRJ crowd favorite, 515C out of Stepler. Miss 194A.
these three yearling heifers uh, on your Charlet show here this afternoon. Uh, I like looking at these three females when you be able to line them up this way and be able to look at from the seats and look over the tops and down the sides of these heifers. This first place female, you know, you stand and analyze her from the side. You're thinking, is she a tad short? And well, maybe she is a bit short in some people's eye, but I think she's as long a spined female as the other two in the class. But what I really like about this female is you could play a game of cards on her top. She's so wide on that top and just carries herself so nice. She's got nice bone, you know, to her. She's a very athletic type of a female. She's kind of showing off here today a little bit. But I really like the front end of the female. I just, I really like the overall width of this female. You can't knock her for that. She's just a tremendously wide, wide base type of a female. These other two heifers in class, you stand behind them. They've got tremendous barrel to them, lots of substance, you know. Heifers that maybe just don't put it together as the completeness overall when you profile them from the side as compared to that top female. But all three of these are very, very extremely high quality females, I think, and I think they represent the breed tremendously well. Uh, for small numbers, like I say, again, the quality of these females is just a tremendous amount of power in these three yearling heifers. First in class is entry number 313. She's also the junior champion female. Stepler Miss 98F by Stepler Farms from Miami, Manitoba. They win the, ch the, the jacket sponsored by R&G McDonald Livestock. Entry number 311, G Brothers Alexis 620F by Jillian Brothers Charlays is a reserve junior champion female from Carryville, Saskatchewan. And they get the reserve champion prize donated by Stepler Farms, Manitoba. And third in class, White Rose Sweetheart, 803F from DRD Charlotte, entry number 312 from Sinaluda, Saskatchewan. We will now have the grand champion Charlotte class. Well, this uh, champion female drive in the Charlet show, uh, there's four individuals out here that are, are doing a really good job. You know, they they exemplify what we need to do in the beef business, and that's, you know, throw some muscle and some shape into their makeup and be able to be sound and functional. And, uh, you know, when you cross these females with whatever bull it is, uh, you know, you want to change this or change that about them. These are the type of females that are right in the middle, I think, where you can upsize them or downsize them or maintain them where you want to be and I think these are just four really sound stout individuals and uh, represent the Charlet breed rather well uh, thus far you know but uh, I fell in love with a couple of these females out here I'm going to go out and pick yourself a champion and reserve female for your Charlet show. So your grand champion Charlet female for the 2019 year show is entry number 300. High Bluff Gabbana 61G, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis, Manitoba. The Charlet banner is sponsored by C2 Charlet.
the reserve champion, female entry number 313, Stepler Miss 98F, an entry of Stepler Farms from Miami, Manitoba. And that class is sponsored by, the banner was sponsored by Hunter Charlet. We'll resume with the bull calves as soon as they're completed with some picture taking.
All right, we are ready to resume the bull calf class to class 214, first split. Entering the ring, cla class 214, entry number 314, High Bluff G-Star 150G, an entry by High Bluff Stock Farm, Inglis, Manitoba. High Bluff Casanova 13C out of a High Bluff Jive 150B. Entry 315, another entry of High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis, High Bluff Gentleman 113G. High Bluff El Paso out of a High Bluff HD 96A. Entry 317, Stepler Axle 320G, an entry of Stepler Farms, Miami, Manitoba, out of K's Full House 22E, and Stepler Miss 314B. Entry 318, High Bluff Great Gatsby 24G, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis, Manitoba, out of a High Bluff Casanova 13C, out of an SOS Gonna Get You Good 128R. Entry 319, JMB Zach 908G, an entry of JMB Charlet, Brookdale, Manitoba. JMB Boys Bull 736E out of JMB Rosetta 720E.
I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I took a little longer on this first class of bull calves uh, here this afternoon, but there's some bulls out here that I, I like a whole bunch, and there's some bulls I'd like to change a little bit. In being honest to myself, I guess the, the calf that I used to win this class, he's the most moderate calf in class, yes. He's got the most eye-appealing uh, muscle pattern profiles to me. What I like to see, the most complete calf in the class as far as the skull, the throat, the neck, the crest that he possesses. A nice forearm in this calf. He's got nice shape to his rib. Beautiful stifle, round muscle, good top kind of a calf. I really like this guy. He's a moderate package, but like I say, if it works for you and what you're doing with your program, stick with it. I can't dictate that to you, but this is the, the type and the kind that I'm really looking for. The second place calf, I think, follows him in a larger scale. A uh, calf that's got some muscle to him. He's got adequate testicles. There's no doubt about it. A calf that can get in, out and move. He just doesn't put that front end. He doesn't blend it together like the first place calf today, but I really like the power that this calf has. These next two calves in class are calves that, these are big individuals. These are calves that you put six weeks on them. These are the changers. These are going to change a lot. Just a little more time, a little more management on these pair of calves is going to make a huge difference. Like I always revert back to that four to six week window. These calves change a whole pile. They're good calves. They just need more time. The calf that rounds out the class here today is a calf that just gives up a little bit of the depth compared to those calves, the two calves above him today. But he's still a youthful, got lots of character type of a, of a bull. He's going to be around for a while, and he'll go out and service a lot of cows. Thank you. First in class, entry number 317, Stepler Axle, 320G, Stepler Farms, Miami. Second, entry 318, High Bluff, The Great Gatsby, 24G, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis, Manitoba. Third, entry 315, High Bluff Gentleman, 113G, another entry of High Bluff Stock Farm, Inglis, Manitoba. Fourth, entry 314, High Bluff G-Star, 150G. High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis, Manitoba. In entry 319, fifth by uh, JMB Zach 908G, an entry of JMB Charlet, Brookdale, Manitoba. The second split, Charlet Bulls, entry 320, HC Gearwork 946G by Hunter Charlet, Roblin, Manitoba. JWX Downtown 7C, and HC Sweet Cream 610. 6104D, entry 321, High Bluff Gibson 4G, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm Inglis. High Bluff Casanova 13C out of High Bluff Peaches 114G. Entry 322, HTA Double Barrel 943G, an entry of HTA Charlet Rivers, Manitoba. SHSH High Class 43D out of HTA Kiwi 381A. Entry 323, HC Gillette, 915G, an entry of Hunter Charlet, Roblin, Manitoba. It's a WCR Commissioner, 593P out of HC Hope, 7122E. Entry 324, HTA Dimension, 921G, out of H an entry of HTA Charlet, Rivers, Manitoba. It's an LT Ledger, 0332P out of HTA Sweetheart, 495B. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, over here on the North Ring. We're about ready to get underway with our Speckle Park Show, 2019 Manitoba Ag-X. Uh, very proud to host the large Speckle Park Show here this year. 
And we're going to lead off with Class 800. Class 800 coming in will be uh, the first split of heifer calves. We have uh, three splits of heifer calves. So this first split coming in the ring are heifer calves ranging in age from March the 24th to up to February 6th. We're very proud to have con uh, exhibitors here in our Speckle Park show all the way from Ontario through Saskatchewan. So uh, great to see uh, everybody in the barn and a great, great set of Speckle Park cattle for this year's show. Our judge for today is Kirk Seaborn. We're very pleased to have Kirk here with us to uh, officiate our 2019 Speckle Park show. This uh, Charlotte class out here in your bull show this afternoon. Uh, there's five pretty good bull calves out here before us. This uh, bull I led the class off with, in my mind, this is a very easy class winner for me. A bull that's got some muscle and some shape to him. He carries himself very, very nicely. He's up through that skull and that throat. You know, he's got a lot of character in him. He's got a beautiful hair coat coming on this calf. This will be an interesting calf to watch as the uh, next few weeks unfold. Uh, coming down to the end of November, but this is a really, really interesting calf in my mind. The calf in second, big, powerful individual. He's got lots of muscle. He can get out and move very nicely. Carries a nice set of testicles down underneath. Maybe just gives up a little in that fore rib going into that shoulder as compared to that talc calf, but two very, very good athletic type of bulls in this class. Our bull in third here is a bull that I really like this calf. There's a, a lot of good to this guy, calf. He's got a lot of muscle, a lot of shape to him. It just gives up a little bit overall in general compared to the top two calves to compete any higher today, but I thought a bull that fit the third hole very nicely. A bull in fourth moving out here is a bull I really like the length of spine. I like the muscle to the bull. I just like to make him a little more fluent in his movement on that back end today to use him any higher, but you still have to appreciate the bull for the amount of mass and substance that he carries. The bull rounding out the bottom of the class is a bull that just gives up to those other uh, top three calves, top two calves in the front of the class here today. But overall, I thought that was a pretty uh, deep set of bull calves in the Charlotte show. So first in class, entry 321, 
High Bluff Gibson, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm from Inglis. Second entry, 324, an entry of HTA Charlotte, HTA Dimension. Third in class, entry 323, HC Gillette 915G, an entry of Hunter Charlet. Fourth in class, entry 322, HTA Double Barrel 943G, an entry of HTA Charlet. In fifth in class, entry 3, 320, HC Gearwork 946G, an entry of Hunter Charlet from Roblin, Manitoba. We'll now have the champion bull calf class with the first and seconds from the first two splits. This Charlet division of the bull show, uh, we got four pretty good uh, calves out here in front of us. I think calves have got a lot to offer. These bulls are going to go out and uh, produce some progeny, I think, in the next couple of years that uh, be something to keep your eye on, that's for sure. These are some bulls that will go out and maybe bring some dollars in a spring sale or what have you, but I think they're, they're four really strong contenders and individuals in your Charlet breed that... Uh, got a lot to offer so if anybody's out here watching or thinking about using a Charlet Bull there's uh, some contributors out here I think they'd be sure to sit down and have a visit with you and talk about what your needs are with four pretty strong calves out here and other ones that I went back to the barn as well but I'm going to go out and pick a couple of bulls that I think uh, seem to have it all they got some substance they got some bone they can travel all four of these bulls can travel there's no doubt about it but uh, two of them I like just a little bit more than the other two so I'll go out and tell you which ones they are. So the bull calf champion is the entry 321 High Bluff Gibson, an entry of High Bluff Stock Farm, Inglis, Manitoba. They receive a they receive a jacket sponsored by Ellie J. Charlet. The reserve champion, Stepler Axel 320G, entry 317, an entry of Stepler Farms, Miami, Manitoba. And they win the prize sponsored by Johnson Charlet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first split of heifer calves in our Speckle Park show uh, placed. We'll have comments from our judge. Good day, everybody. I'd like to thank the Manitoba Ag -X for allowing me to be here today to participate in the Speckle Park show. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting on the drive here today, or yesterday to see the uh, extreme challenges that the farmers have had in this area recently and uh, it's good to see things are starting to move now. I, uh, I'm asked how things are in out in Alberta and I hate to comment too much because you guys have certainly had it rougher than we have. Uh, we'll start out today's uh, heifer class. Uh, I 
I have to commend everybody here today. What a, what a group here today. I had just as much trouble with the top end as I did the bottom end. It's uh, certainly uh, my opinion on the day. I think uh, it could vary in a week from now or a month ago or what have you, but I'll uh, try and do my best to try and uh, demonstrate what I feel to be, uh, to be the factors that I have a high emphasis on in terms of trying to create a female that has uh, uh, a productivity in mind and longevity and uh, so with that uh, structure, soundness, uh, features of uh, muscle mass and uh, features of femininity. So uh, I'd like to start the class off with this cooperative Roan Heifer here. Uh, she's, she's, she's such a sweet female. Uh, I think she blends everything else really well together. She's got muscle mass, she's, she's sm smooth through her front, she's got great hip dimension, great on the move, free moving. She's, uh, she's really a sweet female and uh, close behind her, number two. Uh, I think uh, just doesn't have quite the hip structure as number one and per not, perhaps not as wide based. Heifer in the third spot, uh, a lot of volume to her, a lot of length. Uh, with the other heifers, maybe just could change up her front end and uh, and hip and shoulder structure to strengthen her up a bit that way. But nice heifer all the same. Heifer in heifer in fourth spot, long might be the perhaps the longest. Gives up a bit of depth of body, uh, but still great hip structure. Nice fronted heifer in uh, bottom of the class also a great heifer. Just gives a bit of uh, style and and uh, finesse above the others. Uh, but still a great female, uh, great class. Thank you. On the Charlay side, we have uh, class 219 in the yearling bull, a single entry, 325. RPJ Diesel 802F, it's an entry of JMB Charlay, Hidden Lake Farms, and Perot Martin Farms. Yeah. It's a seated ALZ 125Z out of RPJ Annie, 627D. <laughs> Well, our first class of Speckle Parks have been placed and leaving the ring in first place is show number 902, River Hill 105D Glitter 25G, exhibited by River Hill Farm in Neilburg, Saskatchewan. Second in class goes to show number 903, U.S. Game Day 10G, exhibited by Underhill Specs of Guelph, Ontario. <coughs> Third in class goes to show number 904, Second Chance Gridlock 18G, exhibited by Second Chance Speckle Park of Fairlight, Saskatchewan. Fourth in class goes to show number 900, Belmoral's Lady, 9G, exhibited by Belmoral Farms of Dubuque, Saskatchewan. And fifth in class goes to show number 901, Calico Creek Glimmer, 17G, exhibited by Calico Creek of Yorkton, Saskatchewan. I believe there should be a correction on that. Uh, show number 901 should be fourth. Calico Creek is fourth, and the Belmoral 89G will be fifth. Apologize for that. <coughs> now coming into the ring is our second of three splits of Speckle Park heifer calves. Heifer calves ranging in age from youngest being January 29th up to January 16th. On the Charlay side, class 222, the two-year-old bulls, entry 326, High Bluff Dorado, 74E. It's an entry of High Bluff Stock Farms and Mitri Farms. SCX Triumph, 50B, and a High Bluff Esperanza, 142A. So the Junior Charlay Champion Bull, entry 325, the class was sponsored by 
Meyer Land and Cattle. And the last, last class, the entry 326, is the senior champion bull. And that class was sponsored by Tri In Charlotte. We will now have the grand selection for the grand champion bull. The grand champion class is sponsored by the Charlet banner. And the reserve champion banner is also sponsored by HTA Charlet. In this uh, champion division of your Charlet Bull Show, we've got uh, only four individuals out here. I've commented on the calves in their division and stuff, but these junior and senior bulls uh, wasn't able to, but I'll comment on them now with this uh, yearling bull that we have in our junior division, a bull that only one entry in the class, but you know, if you analyze this bull and look at the head and the neck and the throat in this guy, there's lots of character to the bull. There's tremendous forearm in him, a bull that's made right. He's got that nice profile like I said earlier this morning in our Angus show if any of us were following or was able to be here to attend it you got to look at these cattle every day and I like to see something I know when I go out to the field or the pasture I want to see something that I enjoy looking at I don't want something that's just average or poor or downheaded I like something that carries themselves and something that I'm proud of that I can go out there and have a look at every day and be stand behind it and be happy I'm doing what I'm doing same with our senior bull. Here's another bull that's got some mass and he's got some muscle to him. Stifle muscle of this bull. Bull that can get out and move pretty good, you know, considering these bulls are a year older and they're a year heavier as well. But uh, I think both of these junior and senior bulls uh, could have withstood a whole lot more competition, that's for sure. But it's good that these contributors brought these bulls out here and uh, exhibited them here in town just so everybody can get a feel for the breed and see what direction they're going because I know there's only four out here but they're a pretty good representation of the Charlie breed and the quality of cattle and what this breed has done and can do and is maintaining to do as a terminal sire is just phenomenal uh, when you look out in the commercial marketplace. I don't raise Charlie cattle. We've used Charlie bulls over the years uh, for a number of years and they work great but with our cow herd, our British cow herd of what we got, Hereford and Hereford cross cows, uh, we're pretty versatile. I'm not counting that we'll never go back to using these white guys on the females once I get them to where they're at. But I tell you what, they sure brought in a lot of dollars. But for me, being versatile with our cow herd, we can change that up just by pulling those bulls and using different bulls and switching bull batteries year to year. Or what, not year to year, but whenever we need to or whatever the market dictates is for us. And Right now, it's pushing us pretty heavy in our outfit to go off to the British Cross female, and uh, that's a, a market that we're trying to establish and one that we really are proud of and want to maintain, and uh, to, to market our 
British females, but these guys work on those females. And I think as a breed, and as these contributors out here, and I'm sorry I'm talking your off, should be darn proud of, because this is what these boys' job is to do, is to go out and hire those copper-colored calves with the white faces. Those are the best damn feeding steers you'll ever find in the country, and I'll put them up against any breed. But anyways, I'm going to go out and pick you a couple of bulls that I think as Charlotte exhibitors you should be proud of. I won't be on the mic anymore, but I'd like to thank Manitoba, uh, Brandon Egg X for having me out here today to, to go through these cattle. Small numbers on the Charlotte show, but what the hell, the quality was there. These guys took the effort and the time to bring them to town. I think we should show them a little respect and what we thought of their cattle and signing them off with a nice round of applause. Champion Charlie Bull for the 2019 Ag X show in Brandon is an entry of a High Bluff Stock Farm, entry 321, High Bluff Gibson 4G. And the reserve champion, entry 325, RPJ Diesel 802F, an entry of JMB Charlet, Hidden Lake Farms, and Pratt Martin Farms. Also, while I have the microphone, the Premier Breeder Award goes to High Bluff Stock Farms, as well as the Premier Exhibitor Award. Second uh, heifer calf class uh, didn't get any easier for me. Heifer I have in first, I think she again puts it all together. It's free moving, nice smooth fronted, feminine front through, through the front end, great maternal hip structure, free moving, good flex through her, her stride. Along with the second heifer, perhaps giving up a bit of depth and body and overall structural mass. Nice heifer. Heifer in third, a little sh shorter built. Uh, still moves out nicely and uh, uh, great flexibility in her movement. Uh, very maternal, these, these heifers. Uh, the two heifers in the, in the uh, bottom of the class, uh, again, two great heifers that have a bright future in front of them. Uh, just uh, getting down to the details, perhaps uh, refinement in some of the hip and shoulder structure to help put together a bit better of a stride and... and uh, Maybe look after some of those details, but two great heifers as well. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And uh, in our second split of Speckle Park heifer calves here, leading off the class will be entry number 908, Colgan's Gamma Ray 19G, exhibited by Colgan Cattle Corp of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Second in class goes to show number 909, Calico Creek Grand Design 5G, exhibited by Calico Creek of Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Third in class goes to show number 906, Second Chance Georgina 8G, exhibited by Second Chance Speckle Park, Darla Sauter, Fairlight, Saskatchewan. Fourth in class goes to show number 907, Hales Creek Rock and Reba 3G, exhibited by Hales Creek Farm of Kenton, Manitoba. And fifth in class goes to show number 905, Hales Creek Crystal Gown 4, 4G, exhibited by Hales Creek Farm of Kenton, Manitoba. So if you're marking your show program from top to bottom, you should have them 5, 3, 4, 1, 2. 
Next class into the ring on the Speckle Park side will be our third and final split of heifer calves. These are our oldest group of heifer calves. They range in age, the youngest being January 16th right up to January the 5th. We're looking for five entries in this class. And once again, this is our third and final split of Speckle Park heifer calves. Immediately following this class will be your heifer calf champion. We'd really like to thank the Mazer Group as the Manitoba Egg X presenting sponsor. Maz Mazer Group is a family of machinery dealerships offering agricultural, construction, and commercial turf equipment, sales, parts, and service with 15 locations across Manitoba and southeastern Saskatchewan. They are ideally positioned to serve their customers throughout their territories. So big thank you once again to Mazer Group. Once again, for those of you folks that have just joined us, our judge here for today is Kirk Seaborn from Alberta. We're very pleased to have Kirk as our officiating judge for 2019 Speckle Park Show. We'd also like to welcome all the people that are watching online with liveauctions.tv. Great to have Jesse here uh, doing our show. And uh, I know with people being stuck at home with harvest and uh, trying to get their fall work done, we have a lot more people that are logged in online watching our show than uh, perhaps that are here. We certainly do appreciate everybody uh, that is online watching as uh, we do have a very good show our numbers are up in the speckle park breed and certainly uh, extremely high quality set of cattle to come before you here today
third class of heifers, another great class. Uh, I have just as much trou trouble with the top end as the bottom end. Top end, uh, I think this female is structurally as sound as you'll find. I don't see any major issues there whatsoever. She's uh, beautiful fronted, uh, carries through with a, great, a lot of great length, uh, great hip structure, uh, very fluid on the move, uh, hip, and, hip and foot structure, it's all there. Uh, class number, or pardon me, the, the second heifer in the class uh, could be the biggest volumed, most dimensional female. I, I maybe uh, had to be a bit tougher on her to the heifer in the, in the start because of a uh, bit, bit, bit too big of a teach structure for me at this stage. I don't know if it'll be an issue down the road, but uh, that's the way I see it today. Uh, heifer in third uh, could be, uh, could dress out to be the, the, the biggest muscle female in the class. Uh, I think she's still f fluid enough in her movement and uh, gets out on the move quite nicely. She's a good female. Uh, nice, uh, beautiful front end structure. Uh, heifer in second from the bottom end of the class, I'd like to just correct her up and give her a bit more base, uh, change up her front end a bit. Uh, maybe a bit soft in the, in the front pasterns there. Uh, black, black and white heifer in the bottom. Uh, again, just a, a bit, a bit of a touch up on structure, hip and shoulder, just to uh, give her a bit better movement and a bit better base to her. But uh, still, tremendous volume, great female. She's going to make a great cow. Thank you very much. And our third and final split of heifer calves leading off the class is show number.